in the house. Hashtag Team All Blade and hashtag No Blade Left Behind. Come on in, throw me a subie smile, and all I gotta say is squad goals. Thank you for being here, for clicking in today's video, and for joining me. Hopefully, wherever you're watching from, you're tuning in with a nice cold drink, and you're sitting in a comfy chair ready for a shave. I am absolutely thrilled to have you here. I've got just over 24 hours of stubble, and we're going to be shaving using some premium um, stuff I'm absolutely thrilled to be talking about today. We've got it in hand. This is Alien Shaves Scream Cream. Take a look here. This is their brand new premium shave soap and splash that's going to be releasing here shortly in their goat milk base. I love the packaging. It just feels premium. Every single aspect of this, it's cartoony. I, I, it's really, really vibrant. It's bright and it's based on rainbow sherbet with an oak moss kind of um, tone to it that makes it complex and really interesting. I love this. When I opened up the package, this was my face. Pretty much basically, I was this kind of excited. I love it. It's really, really fun. Um, it's got their um, stamp and like, like right down deep in the shape soap and you can see today I went wild with it. I really like this a lot. Again, huge shout out to Alien Shape. I'm going to do the spotlight and review on their really extremely premium, I, I, you know, every single thing about this screams it's unique and special from the packaging peanuts being purple. I love this so much. Massive fat shout out and huge thanks to them. This does have their WS, I want to call this out, their WS um, 23 uh, or 20, um, the synthetic cooling agent right here. You can see it. They do mention it here. So it's cold. It feels cold, but it doesn't smell like it, right? It doesn't take away from the scent, but Rainbow Sherbert, come on. Why wouldn't you want that to be cold? This, um, the soap today lathered up really, really beautifully. It had no problem getting pillowy and thick, rich, and hydrated. It paints really easy. And I love, I absolutely love the, um, the body of the soap. It produces a cushion, but it's slick beyond slick. It's almost like it's synthetically slick, to be really honest. I had to grab myself a little bit of alum just to be able to grab a hold of my brush, which is a mountain hair shaving brush. And I do want to mention, I do use the scuttle with this soap, but they don't recommend that, right? It's not something they, they say. That it, usually, they recommend just um, lathering right out of the tub. But for me, I really like this a lot out of my scuttle. Again, huge shout out to Alien Shave for producing an awesome, awesome base that produces a ton of slickness, body, and look, look at this cushion. Awesome stuff. He, I'm really excited to be using it. We're also going to be talking about, for the first time ever on our channel, the Aylesworth Dracont titanium safety razor this is a one two five exposure with a 0.99 gap it is a pretty light razor at 55 grams it's beautifully machined and it's created by uh, is a collaboration with jake yates i want to call this out yates precision is the people manufacturing the razor but um and it's for Aylesworth. they do these in very small batch runs and the razor um released i think last year for the first time ever in titanium and it sold that extremely fast i was not able to get one before they sold out um they did a small um kind of re like restocking just recently and i jumped on it i bought this myself this came out of the own subi budget and i wanted to thank every single person here that tunes in because without you here right i would not be doing the review so massive shout out to all of you out there supporting this work and the effort that goes into it again this is the judge Kant titanium safety razor extremely premium um from the box right you uh, look at the box the satin black box um, the insert, it comes with their like little um, card here that shows the certification and you know the guarantee that, that, that um, what you bought is exactly what you think it would be. It had their card with their information on it that kind of explains why they believe it's worth 369 clams, right? 369 chicken McNuggets, that is what it costs. But to be honest, I think when you're buying something like this, you're not just buying a beautiful machine, perfect, um, um, perfectly created, curated, uh, you know, high-end, top-tier tolerance um, safety razor, but you're kind of investing in future shaves 
forever, right? They mentioned that on their um, actual website. This is a razor that you know you, you invest in first, and then uh, like like cartridge razors, you have to keep rebuying. This is going to last a lifetime, right? And lifetime of lifetime of lifetimes. Absolutely beautiful. This is their satin bee blasted finish, but they do offer this in machined if you can get it before it sells out. I want to call that out. They did um, sell out the, that first. I believe that's because it's slightly cheaper. I'm not positive here, but I, I will mention this is their satin variation. I have had so many um, people ask me to do the review. They said, you know, I just bought the Blacklin Blackbird. How does this compare to the Dracont Titanium Razor? Um, I've had people will say, you know, let's do the Carbon uh, Subi. How do they compare? And I haven't been able to do any of those. So I'm absolutely thrilled to have the chance to do that now. The one that I was most curious about since Jake Yates produces simply uh, basically both of these, right? How they stacked up. The first thing you'll notice about the Yates, and this is their 921 um, Titanium with their EH plate, or um, excuse me, this is their H plate um, assembled. As, you, as soon as you look at them side by side, you will notice that the Yates is, sits taller. It has a larger profile to it. It has a steeper angle to the bevel. You can see that the angle here is, from the cap down is different, right? And I, I do believe the razors um, feel different on the skin. The Yates has a much more prominent profile that's more square, where the I would say the Dracont Titanium, based on my face shape today, it feels much more curved or more like a vintage razor. You can see the, the angle here. It, it's still kind of almost um, shaped and rounded like the carbon. If you look at that carbon angle, now look at the actual angle on the Dracon. It's similar. I thought because it had a square profile, it was going to shave more modern. I would say it almost shaves like an in-between, more like the Ghost, right? When you look at the Ghost razor or that Par Paradigm Salient razor, take a look. It's still more tapered. It's more shallow. It's more sharp towards the bottom right it's thinner and it's rounder than even the much rounder right than the ghost titanium razor i believe that this razor has a very unique fill because of that much much more similar to like the carve overlander style as far as the actual fill to the skin um the, the, when you talk about that actual carve the original cb razor for me this has a much more rounded feeling to it i like the rounder feeling and i do believe um that because of the specs on the razor 0.99 gap it's almost a cb that it has that amount of gap to it because of how round that bevel is and how close the bar fills to the actual blade. You see how the blade there almost goes right to that um, the actual edge of the guard. It fills like you see that like right, the, the way that this is shaped, the way it hits your skin, you barely feel the blade at all. I, it's a very mild, very gentle, very easy going razor. And at least based on the face shape today, you can see the neck was absolutely to the bone, really close, really comfortable very easy to maintain the angle. I like this one a lot. Very, very comfortable, very easy, very, it's autopilot like styled shaving, but without that modern angle, right? It doesn't have that modern, very, very extreme um, beveled face to it. Let's start some head shaving and see how this does. I'm really excited to have you here for it. It has been a razor I have quested for, I have searched for, and I, for me, it almost feels like uh, a feather in the cap because I love titanium razors. And this is one that has gotten so much praise and so many people have, you know, cited it as being their goat razor. I have heard some people say that it's a little too aggressive in certain situations and certain angles. I don't believe the razor is aggressive at all. I would actually say it's, uh, if you were to compare it to, say, start at the, like the Blackland Blackbird level of aggressiveness, this is like five or six steps below that, right? If the Blackbird's a 10 for you, this is going to be a two, in my personal opinion. It has very, very, very little skin fill to it. It has a very mild nature, very um, smooth fill, very easy going. Look at this, it's absolute bliss across the skin. It's buttery smooth. And that's kind of how I got with this face shape today. It doesn't have a ton of like friction points, or I would say it doesn't have any beveled, you know, uh, problems on the, on the actual machining where you're feeling something like the black limb blackbird for me that when i was using it the first couple times before i actually went in and polished and deburred it i got a few little burrs and i felt like at the price right i wasn't getting quite the machined um perfection that i was expecting you know personally i was thinking i pay this amount of money right and for me i'm one of those people i totally i i understand i i'm not like you know everybody here but i feel like the more money i spend the more critical i become i don't know if anybody else feels that way but like as the number goes up i get more and more like 
Is this exactly what I want, right? Is this perfect for me? And the Blackland Blackbird, I felt like the more money I spent, right, it didn't come as good as I would want it to. Um, the Rex Ambassador was very much the same way for me. It felt like it had sharp, unbeveled, you know, um, un, unfinished edges to it, just a little bit. And I wanted a more premium like this, where it came straight to my door and every portion of the unboxing it, every portion of it felt very premium. The Carbon razor falls into that for me, a hundred percent. When I, from the from the absolute like moment I, I I laid eyes on, I was like, okay, this is gorgeous. It's beautiful. It's machined perfectly, right? And I feel like that's exactly the vibe I got from the Jurkant, um titanium razor from Aylesworth. Very very um, nice. Uh, Caleb is the person uh, that's kind of responsible for bringing this to production and 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 maintaining their brand. And I just want to give Caleb a huge shout out and a massive um, congratulations on producing a razor that really. I think shines and um, it, it definitely I think is worth the praise that it has received by the community. Um, it's funny I was uh, kind of messing around with it yesterday so what happened is I got the razor and I started doing some photography with it and the angle of the cap was so fascinating to me I had to give it a like a quick test and as I was doing some just basic you know uh, back and forth swipes and stuff just to kind of give an idea of what I was looking at I noticed how smooth and mild and easy going the razor look at how close that shades though you see how like it's very very condensed and very small segments of stubble in there it shades very very close i think one of the uh, only cons i have really have with the razor so far is if you look at the narrow um, amount of exposure to the blade guard i do get a little bit of this like a situation where it kind of fills in underneath that blade it's not build up i will not call it build up because it comes out but i do have to maintain that and watch it you see how you almost kind of get that because and I believe it's because the angle is so extreme underneath the blade, you almost get stuck under there for a second. So when I'm when I'm rinsing, I, I do tend to rinse extremely hard. I shake the razor pretty good, but if I was trying to do this underneath like a running faucet, I think I'd actually have a hard time removing that, um, whatever you want to call it, the stubble buildup under there, underneath the blade. It's actually underneath the blade though. It's kind of crazy and it gets kind of just stuck under there. And then as soon as you do a quick, um, like build up for me takes a disassembly problem, right? It's for me, it's something you, you almost have to disassemble the razor to get it out. This doesn't have that. I, I just quick shake and it comes out like that. Take a look here. It, no problems with build up, but it does tend to get kind of uh, uh, jammed up inside of there for a second during the actual shaving. And I believe that kind of impacts his performance ever slightly. Because of that, I do believe there's other razors on the market, right? It's not a flow problem necessarily, but like for some reason, this razor tends to, it's that really extreme angle on the blade being pressed down. It's just one thing I want to call out. It's something to be aware of if you're shopping for the um, Aylesworth Draconte Titanium Razor. That's just for me. It's not a downside at all. It's it's something you can see. It flows really nicely, but again, I'm, ha I'm having to do a heavy shake to get it to rinse out fully. Really beautiful. Um, Again, I think down here is a little lackluster, but it, because of the taper and the way it's like shaped ergonomically, it's absolutely gorgeous, right? It's it's a little aggressive while still maintaining a very premium um, aesthetic. Really, really nice. The scallops are present in each swipe. I can tell you that much. And they do seem to impact adding just a slight amount of blade fill. Um, I think when you compare it to, if it had a um, flat bar, I don't, I haven't tested a flat bar version of this, but I think if you were to test a flat bar version of this razor, you would um, probably have a little less blade fill. It has a little bit to it, which is surprising. Um, very, very smooth, very, like I said, mild, easy going. Um, it's a, for me, it's a razor I think that works very well as like a two and a half, three pass razor. You can see I'm having to do a little buffing just around my um, kind of like trouble spots. I think one of the advantages of the um, Dracant razor is in the shape of the head. It's smaller. When you compare it to like the um, actual 921 by Jake or uh, the Blackbird, it's actually quite a bit smaller and it still maintains covering the blade tabs, which I really like. It's a very, very nice, very, um, it's, get that, that size of the head makes it really easy to fit into tight spots, right? Like, like right here, I have no problems getting the razor really tight. It's also easy to maintain lines, right? When I'm, I'm trying to shape my beard and things like that it's very easy because how small that head is really really nicely made i think it's actually to the um, nth degree tolerance wise to covering the blade tabs without you know having too little of material there where it leaves the edges exposed really nice easy going shave today 
to the bone. I would say my first experience with the Draconte Titanium Safety Razor as a full shaver it has been positive. It's definitely one of those razors that kind of took me by surprise because of the amount of different um, reviews I've heard. When you when you kind of listen to people talk about this razor, it goes from everything from being really, really aggressive and not well-mannered to being too mild where people sold it and said I couldn't get a good shave out of it. It's crazy how there's like a huge spectrum. And I figured that the truth was somewhere in the middle, right? I thought maybe it was in like a razor of angles, but for me, it's a very natural angle for the razor because of the roundness to the cap. It's super easy to find the angle. It's a really close shaving razor that's comfortable that I, I honestly really enjoy. I, I, I have to say the money that I spent into the razor, I don't feel too badly about. I feel like I got a shave that is equivalent, which is hard to say at the 369. That, that makes me happy. It makes me really excited to find a razor. I think that really stands behind the reputation it's gotten. Lifetime warranty. It's got the, um, the really, um, it's, it's it's called a blunt start or a Higby um, thread. Just a really unique type of thread that's fully, like it's as uh, the machinist in me wants to be excited, right? It's a full thread all the way around, which is really cool. It's not often seen. They just went the extra mile at all the different little aspects. And I think it shows like from this, even the side of this, right? Where you can get your hand and grab. It has like a little ledge here. You see that little ledge? And it just feels unique. It feels very well designed and it feels modern while maintaining a more vintage um, styled angle. Again, that's just for me. I really, really liked this one. Again, I'm going to let me know in the comments below what you want to see the razor go up against. I, I really am looking forward to doing some battles with the razor because of how awesome it shaves and how different it shaves. It's completely different than any of the other razors I own. I think that's why I'm so taken back by this shave because like when you compare it to like the Carbon or the Blackland Blackbird or even all the way up to the Ghost, they're all very, very different. And this one especially, right? It's mild for me, but so darn smooth and efficient. It produces a very close shape with not a lot of effort and no nicks, dings, or irritation. Look at my head here. It's close. It was super comfortable. And I just want to say it again. Thank you all for being here for it. Oh, this smells awesome. It smells fresh. It smells absolutely gourmet. I want to eat myself. Ah! This is so much fun. It's cold, yet it's like um, sweet. It's vibrant. It's it's fruity. It, it's, it screams like when you go into like one of those like candy stores and all the scents punch you in the nose. That's what this reminds me of. I think it would be fun to wear this like at Halloween time, right? When you're giving out candy. I think it's going to be fun during the spring and summer months when you want to smell kind of fruity and fun and interesting. I think it's unique and I think it really pops. It's just like the label. Again, huge shout out to Alien Shaving for release, or Alien Shave for releasing such a beautiful, interesting, unique, completely complex. Um, uh, it makes me kind of like uh, a sweet tooth in me. Gets really excited about something like this. It's really fun. As fun as the label is bright. Oh, thank you again. For being here. If you haven't, please go below, smash that sub button. I'd love to talk to y'all in the comments. I'd love to hear your thoughts on the Dracon Titanium um, Safety Razor and this awesome shave label, Scream Cream by Alien Shame. Thank you for being here. Until I see you down there, soups out.